More African First Ladies and other delegates have arrived at Abuja, and that's for the summit of the Ninth General Assembly of the African First Ladies Space Mission. Our state has correspondent Aliu Kabir reports that the First Lady of Nigeria, Aisha Buhari, was at the presidential wing of the Namdiaziki International Airport to receive them. Okay, we have details of that report still being compiled. We'll bring it to you as soon as we have it. Nigeria's energy and infrastructure investments are introducing innovative solutions from professionals in the construction industry to avert impending natural and human-related disasters in a steadily recovering and growing economy. Now, this highly collaborative approach dominated the 29th Biennial Conference of the Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveillance and inauguration of its 26th Council, Abubakar Usman Akwanga reports. Kenna Christopher has the winner, and so it was meant to be the 29th Biennial Conference and inauguration of its 26th National Executive Council, with Michael Shinobi as its president and other national officers to pilot the affairs of the institute for a period of two years. But the ceremonial engagement was not the only agenda on the table. The people are going to bring the funds are going to be looking at the integrity and the nature of the farms they will give the money to. Can you manage such funds? As we prepare to lead the institute for the next two years, please accept my best wishes and prayers for a very successful tenure. Leading issues revolved around ways of preserving the environment and its resources against growing threats by climate change and other human activities like incessant building collapse. We need more and sustainable infrastructure to avert the climate change induced disasters that are in West Africa's or Nigeria's future path. The quantity of yours have come of age and they must be recognized in all spheres of our economic activities. Representative of the Vice President and Minister of State Power, Gaudi Agba, says Nigeria's commitment to energy transition from fossil to renewable energy and achieving minimal carbon emissions is gaining global support. At the last COP96, they promised that the monies will come shortly, and we assure you that the monies, when they arrive, will be applied judiciously. The Institute says it will transform outcome of its mandatory continuing professional development into cooperation and industrial use that will benefit the society. In Abuja, Abubakar Usman Akwanga, NT News. All right, let's bring